Hi, today we are reviewing a laptop that might look like a regular ThinkPad at the first glance, but it's actually very interesting. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad P14S Gen 5 with an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 8840HS, 32 gigabyte of memory RAM and Radeon 780M graphics. And the key feature of my version is the touchscreen, which I'll cover in more details later. Let me say right away, this is not an ultrabook or a gaming machine, but rather the balanced mobile workstation. The Ryzen 7 Pro 8840HS is an 8-core, 16-thread processor built in on a Zen 4 architecture. It's more than capable for video editing, even a 4K editing is possible in many cases. It's also great for working with the large spreadsheets, coding, and even light gaming. The Radeon 780M integrated GPU is one of the most powerful in its class. It won't replace a dedicated GPU for high-end tasks, but it handles light to medium games emulators and graphic workloads just fine. Inside we have a 32 gigabyte of DDR5 RAM, two slots and a fast 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. It's a great to see that Lenovo avoided soldered memory, upgrades are possible and that is a big, big plus. Build quality is classic, ThinkPad is sturdy and minimalist. However, instead of the previous magnesium alloy, this version uses a high quality plastic. It's darker, collects fewer fingerprints, but feels a bit simpler to the touch. My configuration features a touchscreen IPS display with a 1920 by 1200 resolution. It's not an OLED, but it's a bright, color accurate and supports touch and gestures. Viewing angles are excellent and the touch response is precise. It's not essential but very convenient for working with the documents. An important note, the touchscreen version offers better battery life than OLED one and it runs cooler during extended use. Lenovo also offers other display options for this model, which I'll show on the screen now instead of going into all the specs. Choosing a screen, it's all about finding the right balance between image quality, battery life, and convenience. So pick what suits your needs the best. The keyboard is a classic ThinkPad comfortable with excellent key travel and tactile feedback. The white backlight has two brightness levels. In Gen 5, the keys feel slightly clicker than the previous generation. Some might not like it, but it's just a matter of preference. The touchpad is compact with physical buttons, while many modern laptops have ditched them. ThinkPad sticks to the tradition. And of course, there is an iconic track point the red button, which some users love and others don't. It's especially handy for working with the text without taking your hands off the keyboard. By the way, if you are curious about the history of the track point, there is a video about it on this channel. The speakers are decent, clear sound and good vocal clarity but no deep bass. The webcam is 1440p with a solid quality and good lighting. Some configurations also include IR camera support for Windows Hello, adding both convenience and security. Lenovo did a good job with the cooling system. One heat pipe, one fan, compact and effective. Under normal use, the laptop is quiet. Under load, it gets louder, but not too bad. Performance is solid, 4K video editing is smooth and code complies quickly. The Ryzen 7 Pro maintains 35 to 45 watt on the CPU under sustained load without throttling. One thing to note, the bottom gets noticeably warm under load, especially if it's on your lap, but on the desk, it's totally fine. While this is, isn't a gaming laptop, the Radeon 780M is surprisingly capable. Older or less demanding games run well at the Full HD, sometimes even on the high settings. Modern titles run on low but remains playable. It's worth nothing how much integrated graphics 
have improved in recent years. Not long ago, even the launching Photoshop was a challenge. The 52 watt battery is average. Expect around five hours for office tasks, up to four hours for video playback, and about 45 minutes under heavy load. Charging is via USB-C 65 watt, and the charger is compact. Disassembly is simple, seven screws and everything is accessible. RAM and SSD are replaceable. Unfortunately, Wi-Fi is soldered, but other upgrades and replacements are easy. As always, I'll show a more detailed teardown guide and upgrade tips at the end of the video. So what's the verdict? The Lenovo ThinkPad P14S Gen 5 is a powerful, reliable, and versatile work tool. Do you need a touchscreen? That depends on your workflow. In general, this model is perfect for business users who value security and reliability, developers who want power and upgradability, students looking for a long-term solution. For gamers and content creators, I'd recommend to look elsewhere. The graphics are still integrated. Overall, this is a true workhorse laptop that feels like a keeper, especially if you value stability, comfort, and thoughtful design. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. In this comments, let me know which ThinkPad model you use or which one you would like me to review. See you in the next video. Let's begin by turning the laptop over and carefully removing the seven Phillips screws from the bottom panel. Once the screws are removed, choose any corner near the LCD hinges and use a plastic pry tool to gently detach the bottom case from the palm rest. It is crucial to start separating the palm rest from the inside hinge area as internal clips are located on the external side and may be damaged if excessive force is applied from the wrong direction. After the bottom case is removed, you'll have a clear view of the internal components. The battery is secured by two screws and features a simple snap-on connection with no cables involved, making removal straightforward. You'll find the battery replacement part number printed in the top left corner in case a replacement is needed. This laptop has two memory RAM slots that are easy to upgrade or replace. If you need to replace the CMOS battery, it is located beneath the main battery. It's a yellow colored battery that becomes accessible once the battery is removed. You can also detach the SSD by removing a single screw. On the left side of the laptop, there is a data board that includes the VLAN and USB port. This component can be replaced without removing the main motherboard. If you are replacing or servicing a cooling fan, remember to clean the area and reapply thermal paste. On the right side of the laptop, all ports solder directly to the motherboard. This concludes today's teardown, wishing everyone 